हेलो गाय दिस हर्षवर्धन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल हर्षा सी गाइस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सैंपलिंग ऑसिलोस्कोप द सैंपलिंग ऑसिलोस्कोप इट इज ए स्पेशल पर्पस ऑसिलोस्कोप that it will generate the waveform based upon the samples the name indicating the sampling it indicates that it will generate the waveforms based on the samples okay now sampling oscilloscope it is an instrument it is an instrument that is used to generate waveforms by collection of a various samples of a electrical signal okay it is the first point that we need to notice it is a basically an advancement of a digital oscilloscope now we will see now how this sampling oscilloscope will works it it works on the principle of stroboscopic light technique and for which type of signals this sampling oscilloscope is used for the fast signal very high frequency signals we are using this sampling oscilloscope in general for an ordinary oscilloscope the bandwidth is 10 mega hz why we need to use this sampling oscilloscope for a high frequency signals because for a high frequency signal the information is travel in a fast manner way if we are using continuous so the storage of information is a toughest task so what we will do we will we will make it into a samples and we will store by using a samples so the performance is improved drastically okay it is the reason why we are using the sampling oscilloscope for high frequency performance now the shape of a waveform the shape of a waveform is reconstructed by joining the level of samples c suppose we are having the first sample this is our first sample this is our second sample this is our third sample this is our fourth sample this is fifth sample this is sixth sample then how we are able to generate the waveform see join the top of the samples from here to here from again from here to join the top of a next sample up to here from here to again to here from the from here from here to finally here okay in this way we can reconstruct the signal but we but we need to notice that we must follow the nyquist criteria that is equal to fs equal to twice of fm for the perfect reconstruction and second one the time gap between the two samples is given by ts we know that frequency is one frequency is one by time period so fs is represented as 1 by ts okay it is important the frequency is given as a 1 by ts then how much the frequency is to be set the sampling frequency is as low as 1/10th of a input sample frequency we need to maintain the sampling frequency as 1/10th of a input signal frequency okay it is the condition that we need to take care now now it is a diagram of a sampling oscilloscope now will now i will explain how it will work these are the components that we are having but in general for the normal servo we are having input signal directly vertical amplifier and vertical deflection plates but here an extra component came called as a sampling gate due to this component the functionality varies now by using a trigger input i will activate the oscillator so what oscillator will do oscillator will generate a waveforms 
so this when the oscillator will become active it is given to ramp generator what ramp generator will do ramp generator will generate a ramp signal in the form of a sahatut waveform okay now it is given to the voltage comparator and the second for the voltage comparator two things must be needed right one is a standard and one is a fluctuating signal so here the ramp generator is given to voltage comparator from the staircase in the feedback path we are giving the staircase output to the voltage comparator what what voltage comparator will do based upon the two signal voltage comparison it will generate a pulse okay so the pulse is named here as a sampling pulse so this sampling pulse is given to the sampling gate when this sampling gate will become active the sampling gate will become active only when the sampling pulse is created so now what will happen so input signal is sampled when only input signal is sampled when the sampling pulse is created so it is a completely linked conversion right For, from the trigger input we need to activate oscillator from the oscillator ramp must be generated this ramp is compared at the voltage comparator with the stair staircase generator and if there is any difference so sampling pulse is produced by using sampling pulse sampling gate will become active so that the input signal is a sample okay it is the complete process of a sampling oscilloscope now the input signal is given to the sampling gate input signal is sampled whenever sampling pulse open sampling gate sampling must be synchronized with input signal frequency it is the important point that we need to notice it means the sampling must be synchronized with the input signal frequency now trigger input is given to oscillator when whenever a ramp is generated the ramp voltage is given to voltage comparator which compares a ramp voltage with the staircase generator from here we can clearly see voltage comparator is comparing the ramp voltage and the staircase generator now when to voltage when two voltages are equal staircase advances one step and sampling pulse is generated now we will see how this is happening okay yeah from here we can clearly see it is our input signal it is some it is some form of a input signal now what we will do we will enable the triggering input here this triggering input is enabled after every a few after every few seconds now what will happen as the trigger input become active now this ramp starts generating this ramp starts generating generating at the at exactly the trig, where the trigger input is there at that time the ramp starts falling okay it is the process which is happening from the falling again trigger in again the ramp has grow, grow to start it starts linearly growing growing and where the trigger pulse is there it will fall down it will grow at the trigger input trigger pulse it will fall down it will grow at the trigger input it will fall down it is the process which is happening there now what will happen see exactly from here we can notice that at this moment the step size is this but now voltage now the voltage comparator compares the this standard step size on the ramp generating voltage at exactly at this point the both voltages are equal now what will happen this staircase is staircase is advanced by one step now now my staircase is advanced by one step now the same process now ramp will go to the top at the trigger it will fall and again it will start from the bottom and again at this point we can clearly see that again my staircase and the ramp voltage has become equal 
So now what will happen? Again staircase will be advanced by one step further. This is the process which is happening in the generation of a waveform in the sampling oscilloscope. Okay. Sa small step size will lead to large number of samples and high resolution. High resolution is nothing but high clarity. From this diagram I will explain. See. As, as we are having a only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 samples here, we are getting a waveform like this. Now assume that you are, we are having a waveform such that the samples are very close to each other. As the samples are very close to each other, we can clearly see that the shape of a signal is claritily identified. It is the form in which the signal is reconstructed. Okay. So when there is a more when there is a only less samples, the resolution is a very less. When there is a more sample, it the reconstructed signal having a high resolution. Okay, guys, this is for this video. We will meet in the next video. Thank you, guys.